So today, we're back on the 20th of January. And we're not going to be focusing on the league today. We're focusing on the Champions League today. Today in the Champions League, we're taking on Bayern Munich at their ground. And in the game after us, we'll be hosting Bayer Leverkusen. Bayern Munich are incredible and have the exact scenario I wish I could have for Motor Lublin. They have the best training facilities, best youth facilities, best junior coaching, and best youth recruitment. Everything I want is what they have. They also got this guy, who's their best player, by a country mile. He's also a bit ridiculous. They also have Endrick, who is also ridiculous, and is a Ballon d'Or winner. They also have Serge Kone, and yep, yep, this guy's also ridiculous as well. There's also Dennis Simon, who is actually mental at the age of just 31, a world-class goalkeeper, a model professional. He's turned out quite good in this save. And they still have Jamel Musiala as well. And I'm sure you can understand, I'm a bit terrified for this game, and I'm hoping we don't get destroyed. So this is going to be our lineup, and I like to think, even though we're most likely going to be destroyed by Bayern Munich, we can at least try and keep this respectable and not have our worst ever defeat, which is 5-0. If we keep it to at least 2 or 3-0, I think I can be happy with this performance. So let's see how we do against the best team that I think I'll ever face in the Champions League this year. And yes, I just said that, even though I've taken on Real Madrid and lost 2-0 to them at our ground. This is Bayern Munich at their ground. I don't think it can get much better than that. Since this is 2037, there's going to be a lot of new gens here. Delict is still here. He's actually now 37, so that's a thing. Oh, they've also got Ansu Fati. We're going to quickly look at all the players they have. Simon's there. Giovanni Gregor's quite good. Delict is still decent for 37. Jorge Alexandra is quite good. David Thomas is ridiculous. He's 29. And could be a center back and a left back. I mean, Merson is also quite good. He's Brazilian, so it's not surprising. He's free kicks 12. They also got this 18-year-old who is very good and has just been listed in the next gen. They must have just signed him very recently. He's actually stupidly good for 18. Musiala starting in what is a 4-2-2-2 formation as one of the two attacking midfielders. And so fast, he's the other one. He's 34 now. But he still looks really good. We also got Basali, who is starting as one of the two strikers. And you got Kevin Ackerman, who is also starting up front. He also could be a winger, though. He's very strong with both feet. He's terrifying. And that's just a starting 11. So let's see how we do. And so fast, he's on the free kicks. Plays it in, and it's hit the ball and gone over. Chance by minutes gone. I know what you're thinking. Why am I still in balance? Well, I'm hoping we can still get through this and get through it's okay even though Ansu Fassi's in and plays across the face of goal even if he misses it if we can take on Newcastle and get a point I like to think we can get a point against Bayern Munich even if Bayern Munich are ridiculous and they are actually doing this and that is a great save thankfully Basoli was offside a throw now to Bayern and we've actually got the ball poor lag oh my god we actually do oh never mind I was going to say we're actually keeping the ball nicely but we're trying to press so it's not like we're trying our we're not trying to do our good things, and that's a good tackle. Just unfortunate, Basoli gets the ball still. Ackerman, goal. It's been coming. They've been absolutely rampant, and I would have been shocked if we could keep that much longer. I do feel a bit unlucky that our tackle wasn't really where we wanted to be, and I don't know why the replay cameras go reverse for this, but Basoli is just outstanding. Ackerman's also really good. In off the post, perfectly placed. Not much could do. To me... Bayern Munich is the standard we want to get to at one point. And if Basoli scores his free kick, he doesn't. But Bayern Munich are the standards I want to get to at some point in the future because they are just outstanding. They are world class. We've been absolutely slaughtered here. And I don't think I have any other anything else to say apart from the fact that this is not a surprise. They are really good. Bayern Munich on the ball again, but we intercept. Here's Jasinski. Borlak, out wide to Kowalski. This is a kind of performance. This is the kind of team when we come up against, we know, okay, we can dominate our league, but Bayern Munich on a different level. But we got a chance. 
We've equalized. Oh my God, Pulis equalized. We've actually scored against Bayern Munich. That team. We did nothing in the first half and suddenly we've equalized. And I can't believe it. We've gone to cautious. That's all I've changed. And suddenly we look like we could be doing some damage and a tap in. We've scored a goal against this Bayern Munich team. Unbelievable. We've had just one shot on target in the entire match and we scored with it because it was a tap in. We don't need to make a lot of chances, just need to make that one chance. But if we score again, oh my god, Jasinski's in. Jasinski! We're leading against Bayern Munich! It's 2 1! The greatest was the greatest shock could actually happen. Motor Lablin are 2 1 up against Bayern Munich after doing absolutely nothing in the first half. I can't believe this is happening. What do we even do at this point? Bayern Munich are the gold standard. I s this is the team I want to be at the level of. And we're beating them at their ground, no less. It's too early to sit back and defend, though. It's we can't just sit back and defend right now. It's far too early. And they are just going to... Get a goal now, aren't they? They, they didn't get any close immediately. Kevin Ackerman scores again. We couldn't just sit back straight away. But, wow, we actually led against Bayern Munich for a second. I mean, the fact that it's taken this kind of performance from Bayern Munich to do that, but, wow. 2-2, Two -two. what a game. I just brought a player on, he's been injured. Oh my god, okay. That wasn't the plan. Um, but Kals is going to come deeper. I've got an idea. It's not a smart idea, but we're going to do this. Shadow Striker. Oh, Kals is going to come deeper. I've made all my changes as well. So there's not much I can really do here, but... Okay, we have a throw in their half. We have a throw... Kornick had a shot. Oh my god, Kornick had an opportunity and we could have made it 3 2. But now they're going to try and start a counter attack themselves. We are actually are not. This is giving me so much hope. So much hope that we can. Okay, we lost this game, but this is giving me so much hope to challenge for like the biggest games. The only reason we're losing at this point, I feel like, is the fact we're down to 10 because of injury. Because of a player I literally brought on just got injured inside five minutes. But what a game. This is so good for my confidence right now. And I feel that at this stage in time, the fact we took the lead against this team, the fact that we can do this, we can go to a by minute team that is this good and actually causing problems is so good for my confidence. So good for the team's confidence, surely. It's all well and good dominating our league, but to do this against a team that... Oh my god, we, we can get a second, a third. We've equalized again! It's Jasinski again! It's 3-3! Free free. Oh my god! I can't! This is the best result. Without a question of a doubt, this is going to be our best ever result as things stand. I've got to defend this now, surely. Do I still go and attack? It's 4-3. But I mean, they're going to score again, aren't they? They have scored again. That's unlucky. Cardina, it's just... I don't care what happens now. We've gone to Bayern Munich and scored three times. The keeper's made a mistake, apparently. I don't think the keeper can be blamed for that. That's just unfortunate, but... So crowded the area is. Yeah, I feel like we're just unfortunate. So if you see... This is outstanding. We're down at 10 men. And... We've actually done this against Bayern Munich. We may have considered it four times, maybe five times, but we may have considered it so many times in this game, but Bayern Munich were made to work for this. Oh my God, that is outstanding. That is just outstanding. We may have lost 5-3, but the players can take so much pride from this. We can take so much from this performance that it took... Us getting uh, having an injury and going down to 10 men for Bayern Munich to win this game. Ridiculous. Bayern Munich 5, Motor Lublin 3. What a game. What a game. We, the worst part is, 
I, we can't qualify now because Real Madrid and Bayern have both beaten us and they're the only two teams that we can go above at this point to get in the top eight. But, oh my God, Bayern Munich. That's the team I want to be. And we pushed them. We actually made them work for that. Wow. What a game. My, I think at this point, my team might have just proven that they deserve this. We deserve to stay in this competition. We deserve to be here now. We've just proven that. And we're definitely in the top 24 regardless. But where can we finish in the top 24? Let's find out in the next game together, shall we? By Leverkusen could only draw against Genk, who we beat. And Mojic got a groin strain, so he's out for four to five weeks, which it's not ideal, but wow, we were good. Oh, and Bollock's out for the game as well against Bayer Leverkusen, so we'll be back after the, we'll be back for the game. Good Lord. As if things couldn't get any more insane, huh? Willem Trey just won 3 0 against Juventus at Juventus. Arsenal win just their second game of the competition. And they let lose to Real Sociedad, so Sociedad should be through now. Dortmund only drew 2 2 against Monaco. Milan won 4 0 against St. Paulton's. PSG, unsurprisingly, win 6 0 in their game against Red Star. Rims win 2 1 against Paul, so Chelsea get a 1 0 win against Chattanesk. So now, Newcastle wins and Sociedad are all through. We are out of the competition, out of the chance of getting into the top eight at this point, but. We are comfortably in the top 24 regardless now. We can't go any lower than 24th. And even then, I think we can just... We can't go any lower than 24th because of Genk. Haven't beaten them at one point. We can fall down a lot of places, but we can still rise a few places too. So, there's options. There's a lot of things that can go away as long as we don't lose to buy Leverkusen. We could do a lot of things. And it's ridiculous. Inter just beat Celtic 7-1, so I think Inter are going to be fine. Okay, so Champions League games happening on a Tuesday before our game is by Leverkusen. So we can find out where we stand as a result of these fixtures. So let's see what happens here. Oh my god, Real Madrid won again. Real Madrid beat Genk. Man City beat Fiorentina. Liverpool beat Marseille. Galatasaray beat Barcelona. Bilbao beat Copenhagen. Monaco could only draw against Celtic. Arsenal beat Anderlecht. And sorted that bit and pat. So what happens here? So as things stands, we are down in 18th place. By Leverkusen need to beat us to qualify for the next round. As things stand, they're currently out because they only drew against Genk. And it's goals scored that is the problem. So if they draw against us, they're through. Not that it'd be ideal for them, but if we draw. We could go above Will and Trey, and in fact, we could even go above Monaco potentially as well. So that could be interesting. And we could go above Monaco, Arsenal, and AC Milan. But AC Milan had their game in hand. So we got something to play for here. If we win our game, we'll be in the top 16. And that should give us a nicer draw. Though there is a lot to play for right now, and I'm kind of excited to see what happens next. So by Leverkusen, if we beat them, we're in the top 16. And we stop by Leverkusen from qualifying to the next round of the Champions League. If they win, they go above us and we could be in the bottom part of the 16 teams that didn't make it into the top eight. So we need to win or to avoid defeat. It's one of the two. Juventus and Dortmund is a big game too. And I don't know what to expect anymore. PSG need to beat Newcastle to get to the top eight. Unfortunately, we've had a few injuries since last met. I actually gave him no back injections. Turns out I didn't need to because it was, it was fine. But he got injured due to Bruce Sheen. I gave him injections. He's fine again. He's the star player though. I kind of felt like I had to make sure he was okay. I've got a few injuries though. Kowalski is still injured. Bola is suspended. Rorschach's injured. Nijad's injured, as is Kimmich. So, a few players that probably wouldn't be my first team today are in the first team, but I think we should be fine. Let's see how we do. So, that is by Leverkusen's team. Fernando Torres is the manager, and I think we should win this game just because of what's happened so far and because of what we did to Bayern Munich. If we can do what we did against Bayern Munich today, we should be fine. Okay, this is the first half of the game. They've actually had the better of the game so far by Leverkusen. 
nice shots to R2, but I've got so much faith in his side now that we can do a lot of damage if we want to, and I just got to hope that we don't make a mistake. And that is a lovely time for us to really show we are dangerous. And oh my god, okay, what were you doing? So lazy with that. And we could have paid the price for his stupidity there. But if we do what we did against Bayern Munich, we'll be fine. And we have an opportunity. Bollack offside. Yeah, he's offside. I thought he was off. But a safe way. As things stand, nil-nil. This works perfectly for us. And we will be in the top 15. Dortmund are beating Juventus too. Which means Juventus are down in 22nd place. Bayer Leverkusen will be through though. I track Frankfurt will be out despite the fact they're winning. I assume, not because we're sort of teams, because that doesn't applicable, that's not applicable, but Real Madrid are heading out of the top eight because of PSG's victory right now by Leverkusen the free kick. Waterberg takes it over the bar. As long as we're drawing, we're fine. I don't mind what happens here. Okay, we've made a last substitution. I'm kind of hoping it's not going to come back to bite me, but I don't know what to expect at this point. But by Leverkusen. Oh my god, Novak just about got there first. I thought they might, we might be able to make a mistake here. Plays the ball forward. David Davis is not going to get there first, unfortunately for us. But if we press them, we're fine. But we just need a draw. As long as we don't lose, we are fine. And, oh, Novak again denies. Okay, okay. We've got a free kick. Supreme takes it. Gokowski doesn't get there first. And David Davids finds Smolek. Goes for goal. Oh, just over. Best shot so far for us. We've got to throw again. Suddenly, we feel like we're the better team in this game. With all those highlights and chances going our direction. But that's not great clearance from their point of view. Can Nick can go for goal. And he's lost the ball. I was kind of hoping he would go for goal before that at the moment. But Kowalski gets the ball back for us now. And as long as we don't do anything silly, we will be fine. I think we've got the upper hand. I say that, we give the ball away. Double do it's again, lose the ball. But we keep, when they try to ball forward, we get the ball back. As long as we keep the ball, we're fine. Small leg. I oh, wasn't the ball I was looking for. And Kenan, let's miss the header. If they score now, I'd be so heartbroken. Casse. Oh my God. We are, we are absolutely trying to throw this away. It's not funny. Supreme, but double it's now. Play the ball forwards or out wide. Out wide. All that works too. Gokowski. If we score, I'll be so happy. Gokowski plays across to Brim. Plays it back to Kronenik. Oh, what a save. That is magnificent from their goalkeeper to deny. Oh, this is so... I'm so tense right now. I'm actually loving this. This is so fun. That we have a chance to do this and they head the ball away. And oh, my word. This is absolutely buzz brilliant. This is lovely. I'm nervous. And it's still going this highlight. I don't know what's happening here. They're going to score. If they score, this is going to be a goal for them, isn't it? It is. They've, it's, it's come off our own player. It's come off our own player. Buba Carcasse scores. Oh, no. Oh, come on. That is so unfortunate. Not like this. Oh, 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 it's literally come off our defender. It's the, it's the young, it's one of the youngsters I brought on because of the injuries and all that stuff. for oh, hard by days. I don't even blame him. That's just unfortunate. We lose 1-0. I don't know what that does, but we just lost and we're not in the top 16. We're finished in 21st because by Liverpool, because it's a bit finished ahead of us. Oh my God. Look at the teams we could, we're going to be facing though. Real Madrid, Anderlecht, give me Anderlecht, that is the team I want, please give me Anderlecht, I am desperate for Anderlecht, the fact we finished below Will and Trey, despite the fact we beat them is so irritating, God sake, if we'd held on for the draw we'd be fine, we don't know who we're going to be taking on, do we, when do we find out, do we, we find out then, I'm not going to do that now, I, I'm going to make you wait, because I'm going to end this here. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I hope you guys would like and share this video. And that you subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out a lot. I have no idea who I'm going to take on in this competition. But we're through to the knockout round. And we got to get through the playoffs to get to the round of 16.
we've got a tough task ahead of us. But either way, until next time, goodbye and well, good night.